What's up, guys? Today I want to talk about why I think if a ninja were to become a photographer, this is the camera they're going to use. The Canon QL25. So this Canon I got from a friend who he was going to throw it out because it didn't work. And I said, hey, if you're going to pitch it, give it to me and, you know, I'll, I'll try to fix it if you don't mind. He said, sure. So um, actually, I, I made a video on the repair uh, that the shutter was stuck and it just needed to be cleaned. Um, and now I've got a functioning camera. And I got to say that I really didn't have any high hopes for this thing. And I went out, I shot around with it. And when I came back and developed the, the negatives, I'll tell you, I was like really surprised just how sharp this thing was. Now, back to the whole ninja thing. The reason why I, I kind of thought this would be a good camera for a ninja is because the lens is sharp as hell and it's near silent. I mean, you could like creep up or sneak up on anybody with this thing, which would probably make it a good camera for a shooting street. So I'll do a quick overview here. Now, most of the controls are located around the barrel here. On this side, you have your, your shutter speeds. It goes from 500 to bulb. Right below that is your aperture. You have auto aperture, 2.5 to 16. And what I found out is when the meter doesn't like or when the meter is in auto and it doesn't like what you're trying to shoot, it will lock the shutter button out. Until it has ample light, it, it'll basically, it, it won't let you depress or, or take a picture. Uh, so at, at first I was like kind of wondering what's going on. Uh, but apparently that's, you know, that's what's going on because I pointed at the light and takes a picture like that. Ooh. Ah. On the right side here, you have your focusing arm. Movement up and down, your lens will focus. And this is coupled, it is a range finder. Uh, so it is coupled, you'll, you'll see your, your mirror image will come to center. And I just, I have one gripe about this particular camera. The range finder is, is freaking tiny. I mean, you get like a little square. Uh, you know, this is just, it's, it's a little tiny square in the center and it makes it difficult if you're, you're trying to frame on the outside uh, that it kind of makes it a little bit harder. But something cool, however, is it will, it does have a, a parallax correction. If, if you notice when you're close, you'll see there's a, a frame inside your, your viewfinder and it will actually shift to show you because your, your frame's going to move depending on what you're focusing at. And you'll see it will kind of shimmy left and right, uh, which I've never seen that on another camera. I'm sure that's somewhere else. I've just never seen it, but uh, that's just kind of pretty cool. And the QL stands for quick load. And I'll show you on the back side here. You open it up by this little tab on the bottom. Pull that down and it will open up and the quick load system is it's just that it's meant to to be easy and nice and, and I don't know I've, I've never found loading film to be that difficult but hey whatever you know Canon wants to improve on that so you stick it in and you run your film into this red dot as you close this up it will automatically depress that and push it into the sprockets and then you advance it a couple frames and it will it would automatically load it for you. And I already shared my gripe about the rangefinder focusing area being very small. Another gripe that I have with the viewfinder, I, I'm just gripey today, I don't know. The other gripe that I had with the viewfinder is, and maybe it's just this particular camera, I don't know, the overlay for the meters, your numbers, uh, they're just really difficult to see. They're very light if it's bright out. It, it just was really hard to see. I, I found myself having to almost cover and, and shade uh, the, the top of the viewfinder just so I can see, you know, where where the the needle was on the on the numbers. And on the bottom, you have your battery door, tripod socket, and rewind button. On the bottom side of the lens, you change your ISO. You can go from 800 to 25. Basically, there's a little spring-loaded tab. With a notch, you just push it in and rotate it to whatever ISO you want. 
And that's pretty much the overview. It's it's not a very complicated camera. I mean, most old range finders are pretty simple. This, this is no exception. And there are a couple other models of this particular Canon A. Um, I think there's the 1.7. There's also a 2.8. So, you know, I've never shot those. This is the only one I've had. So I think I'm going to load some T-Max in this and go take a walk around town, take a couple shots, and I'll come back with final thoughts. So my final thoughts on this camera, as I mentioned earlier, it's, I was very surprised just how sharp it was. With that though, you know, I kind of find it cumbersome. It's not very user friendly. And I say that because everything's around the lens and which, which isn't particularly a bad thing, but the really that, you know, you have these little serrations where you, it kind of helps you spin and grip here. And I just found it kind of, fumbly when i'm out and i'm i'm walking around and stuff i i had to to check i had to look back and check and also i just i think the position of this you you can't one hand shoot with this thing you just you, you can't do it now with with all that said i'm not a rangefinder guy like i i like to shoot them but it's not my preference like some people will like flip over these things now I totally love my Electro, and I would never get rid of my Electro. But aside from that, all of the other rangefinders, and I've never shot a Leica. Can't afford a Leica. <laughs> but I'm sure if I did, I might be a rangefinder guy. I don't know. Um, but the other ones that, that I've shot, they just, I, I don't know. I prefer an SLR. And, and I kind of hear that, you know, some people are in both camps. They, they prefer one or the other. And, and I prefer SLRs, I think, you know, as, as opposed to rangefinders. That about wraps it up for this camera, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, if you could please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And every couple days I'm coming out with new videos. Some are overviews like this. Others are how-to videos. All are film photography related. So uh, if that's your kind of thing, then wherever the button is, go ahead and hit subscribe. I guess until next time, we'll see ya. Which I think it would be... Blah, 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 wow. Which would make this great for street, 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 <laughs> street photography. Ah. Oh my. Oh, let's hit the tripod. Let's shake the camera. Good job.